I know how to undervolt, but I'm still so scared. Don't be scared, dude. You know, you can't do any harm to your to your hardware. New world fix. So you can fix this two ways, V Rod. Three ways. No, maybe not three ways. Two ways. Two ways. Okay. So first way. Just FPS cap. Go into your NVIDIA control panel. Now, I don't know what you should FPS cap it at. When I when I watch my wife play, she gets about 160 FPS in that game on average. So what I would say is maybe cap it at like 120 to be safe. Do you know what I mean? So you go, you go right click. NVIDIA control panel You go to manage 3d settings Maximum frame rate Or you know what you you know what let me let me rephrase this go into program settings And here in this drop down menu you're gonna find where it says new world And then you click on new world. Let's say I don't even have it. Let's say okay fucking this just pretend this says new world okay you go down to max frame rate and then you you drag it to 120 and you press on and then only that game will have a max frame rate of 120 forever and then that fixes that problem right right so that's one way to fix it another way to fix it is to do the uh the undervolt you can go back to the undervolting guide right so Afterburner, Control F. Oh yeah, we can. We can use the mining to show you. So instead of it being like maybe maybe go to like, I'll give you a broad setting that will probably work with every thirty ninety. Just go max your power limit. Go one volt, just like this. Leave it all stock. Just leave everything stock. Press shift, move everything to the right of one volt down. Like that. Press the check mark and then leave it alone. That's it. That'll, that'll solve that problem too. Just do that. And that way your card will never go above one volt. And then that way it won't fucking power and skyrocket and all that shit. So you can do... So if... So if you want more than 120 FPS, do it this way. If, you, if this seems too complicated to you, just go into the NVIDIA settings and then cap the game at 120 FPS. And then either way, you'll be fine. You'll be good to go. This, this one reduces the power draw of the card. The other one stops it from running away on itself and blowing a power stage or whatever, right? There you go. That's how you fix that shit. I think if anyone thinks of any other way, there's more ways to skin that cat, right? But that's probably the easiest way that I can think of to fix that. And then you're good to go. But then again, my wife, um, my wife has been playing New World on a Power Unlimited Strix. Fucking 20 hours a day, no problem. So I don't know. I don't know. I know how to undervolt, but I'm still so scared. Don't be scared, dude. You, know, you can't do any harm to your, to your hardware. If you're okay, okay, if you're an afterburner here, like this app, no matter what you do in this app, you cannot damage your your hardware, your card. No matter what you do, you crank this fucking voltage. You go over here, you go 1250. You crank this fucking up here. Nothing bad will happen, dude. It just won't work, or you'll just crash out. Don't worry about that. Get in there and start tweaking and fiddling and learn how to use it, right? You can't you can't do any harm to your hardware don't worry about that i mean to play new world oh i see okay well well then i was never afraid of playing new world on my heart my, I, have, I have a further win three i was never afraid of that i don't know my my further win three doesn't have a power limit either i don't i, I was just fucking yolo that shit dude i don't know maybe it's a heat thing because all mine are water cooled. So I, I don't know, dude. Yeah. 
Yeah, but it it wouldn't it wouldn't give headroom for a VRM blowing, would it? Maybe. Like, hmm. Like if a V like. I I don't. How do VRMs work? So is it is it like a VRM? I know how VRMs work, but is it like, is it like let's say you're running an air cooler, and a VRM is running at about seventy Celsius right and you have a water blocked vrm and it's running at about 50 celsius let's just say for example right actually let's check icx sensor quickly see i have one that's running at 66 celsius right on a mining card okay let's just say this is running at 80 celsius this one's running at 66 celsius whatever it, does this one does the cooler VRM have the ability to withstand a voltage spike better or a current spike? I didn't think that's how VRMs worked. This one should be more efficient in how it regulates the voltage, but I don't think it would be able to withstand that fucking loading screen current draw better. It's still the spec of the VRM is the spec of the VRM. I could be wrong on that. I don't know... Um, I don't know if temperature actually changes the spike threshold of a VRM. It could. I don't know. I just didn't think that's how they worked. Right. <laughs>